without her group, the Plasmatics. She's still known as the roughest, toughest woman in rock and roll. Would you please welcome Wendy O. Williams? <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you? You always... I guess you're dressed like this quite a bit of the time, huh? Pretty athletic. A lot of tattoos. What's, your, what's this? I love sex and... and this rock. is the rose, every, you know, the old rose tattoo. Yeah. What's your newest tattoo? This is, this is my newest tattoo here. It's, on your right uh, arm there? It's Tetzel like... Quattle. It goes all the way around. Hello. It's Aztec-like. <laughs> It's from Aztec mythology. It's yeah. Quetzalcoatl. Quetzal means plumed. Quetzal means serpent. It's um, oh, one of their head gods. It's just like um, he taught them agriculture, how to grow corn, and a lot of stuff. He's one of the one of the head ones. They just about everything. They important they, this enough. Guy, this is here. He is. He's uh, swallowing himself here which is quite a feat because he's the rising sun and the setting sun, so he does this every day. Pretty oh. important to you. I guess That's my name, Wendy O. Williams, right there. Uh -huh. and, and then the bat, the bat here. Ooh. That's another, that's Can another. You see? What does that say? Aztec United Federation. It's an eagle sitting on a cactus. Can you see that? With a serpent in its mouth. Yeah, hang And uh, oh. Aztecs were told by their spiritual leaders. Can you see it? Where, where, yeah. where can we on there? All right. When they saw this, that was where they should build their city, and that's where they built Tenochtitlan, which is one of the cities that's underneath Mexico City. So you're into... But it didn't say United Federation of the Universe. I just put that on there because I didn't want people to think I just like Mexicans. Wouldn't it? <laughs> Instead of putting it on, why didn't you just, like, put it on a T-shirt or something, and then... Some people like jewelry. I like tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> So just throughout your life, you're just going to continue to get more and more tattoos when the fancy hits you, you think? Well, I mean, I do what I, you know, appeals to me at the moment. It's something I'm not, I don't think I want to be, at this point in my life, I'm not thinking I want to be covered with tattoos. I'm very comfortable with how Obviously I look. Obviously, an you independent have... woman who does what you want to do, what's the craziest thing you've ever done? Well, the craziest thing I've ever that done. most of us would well, think was crazy. Well, it's a Maggot music. album. I've got a brand new album right now. It's called Maggot, the record. It's the ninth anniversary plasmatic album. It's just the wildest, craziest, most uncompromising, over-the-top, over-the-edge, hard, heavy, thrashing rock and roll. It's speed metal. It's whatever you want to call it, but I like it when people call it the very first Thrash opera. I like being thrash sure opera at doing things. Well, now, what, how would you define thrash opera? Well, this is a first. There's never been a thrash opera Look before. Like nice. It's a concept. That's what it looks like. Uh huh. That's what it looks like. It's a concept album. This isn't after dinner music or anything, is it? <laughs> no, but is there a message? message? Well, hopefully, I get people's attention with the loud, hard, fast, over the top music, and that gets them going. And if it provokes some ideas in their heads, hey, that's all right. So just any ideas. I mean, you don't have some ideas that you'd like to have people well, think about. Well, there is a definite story on the album, but whatever I say isn't it. It is for the, each individual to um, come up with their own ideas. Some people say, well, this might be about AIDS. I mean, it's, you know, like it might be about the end of the world. Um, there yep. is mention of the greenhouse effect in there. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is something real that is um, really happening. We are um, cutting down the forest. Um, for more McDonald's hamburgers. We are um, burning fossil fuels, and this is rising the temperature of the whole planet. And so we're um, melt away. Yeah, well, because of this, they predict in um, 30 years the flooding of all the major cities. And Dr. Reese's macaque predicts that with the flooding of the major cities, you have a perfect environment for decomposers as the common maggot. Yeah. And unscientifically, we've found this is one of the things that bothers people the most. <laughs> now that you also have in here a title, You're a Zombie, does that mean we watch too t as much TV? Is that well, we do live this in a... It's got a TV uh, brain and a pixel head. Yeah, You yeah. walk and talk, but you are dead. Well, you know, like, we, we do live in a country where if you take away the TV set, you do have a revolution on your hand. I mean, this is, this is a, it's an interesting observation. See, it's mind-provoking, mind-bending, hopefully mind-altering. 
Hopefully, you'll never be the same again after you listen to my music or go to one of my shows. Is that true? I, I, I know you got a lot of fans. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, when I, when I say, mention crazy things, and you know the messages are... It's called rhythm. See, the, you know, music is my love, and I don't miss a beat. I mean, it's just something that... Um, I love hard, fast music. And this is, you know, doing stunts like this is, I'm an adrenaline freak. It adds to it. it. I like taking chances. I'm not a formula person. I don't do formula music. I mean, I, I do love to take chances, but... But driving a car full of explosives into a crash wall, is that... Did you do that? Oh, sure. I do as many stunts a year as I possibly can, and I, I you know, I, I love it. I mean, it's something... Um, I trust the people I work with. It's something that uh, the statement is a statement. And the uh, visuals makes it even more intense. do you take care? I mean, do you run? Do you, you do like I work out. I, I'm in training. I'm in training. Let's talk I'm in about training. how you so keep in shape after a commercial if break. mentally I want to do something, physically okay. I can. Zombie. Yeah. More. You don't think that. How do you stay in shape? Do you work out every day? Yeah, yeah. I'm some of, um, besides being an adrenaline freak and singing loud, hard, heavy music, I do this every day. Even if I'm not touring, I ride a stationary bike and sing for an hour every day. So that, um, try to keep the bike from 40 to 60. So when That's I'm on stage, it's like running downhill. And I, I, I work out. I, um, carry my, when I'm on tour, I carry my guitar player around the stage on my shoulders. And I, How I big just, is he's pretty big. He's a pretty big guy, and he's bigger than me. <laughs> and and uh, when I when I don't have my guitar player, you know, I do some power moves, like I do squats because it's a lot of fun to yeah, pick I up love heavy weights. Too. Yeah, picking up heavy weights is fun. How, what's the heaviest weight you've done? Three hundred and sixty pounds. That's that's three sixty. That's yeah. impressive. I, you won't, you have to you want the lifestyle that I lead. You know, like you got you have to you have to be strong. You know, like yeah, there's a lot of people get um, fried in uh, rock and roll. And, I mean, I'm, I'm concerned about my own personal ecology. And I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about the, you know, the ecology of the, the planet. I mean, and I'm concerned about the health of other people. Yeah, would and, you like a Mrs. Phil's cookie? <laughs> <laughs> um, like, they're good. I, the, first, the first thing that I, I gave up, like, 15 years ago was refined carbohydrates. Ah, and sugar. I guess, I'll take sugar, two of them then. I'll take yours. Uh, Do you like one? I love one, thank you. And, yeah, um, yeah, since you're not going to eat one. But yeah. you're a vegetarian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Has that, have you been a vegetarian a long time? Over half of my life I've been a vegetarian. What Now, what over half your life? I have no idea how old you're, and that's not important, but over that means you probably started when you were a teenager. Yeah, I, when I left home, when I left home when I was sick and I became a vegetarian. And, what motivated uh, you to do that? Just... Well, I, I'm concerned about my health, and I'm concerned about the um, health of the planet. I mean, one of the most fascinating things that I've just um, come up with, I mean, there aren't, it doesn't scare me to jump out of an airplane. It doesn't scare me to walk on the wing of a plane. It does, um, the ecology of our planet, the condition, the, the whole thought that it's totally out of whack, I mean, that, that scares me. I mean, the, you know, um, this greenhouse effect is taking place. I mean, it's, it's kind of frightening. I mean, it, it scares me that um, the shape that our government is in, the, the, with the Reagan policy of um, overthrowing um, other governments um, with the CIA and the uh, um, total um, disregard of law and order. How does um, that all tie into your diet? Very much, very much. I mean, you know, like, uh, just being aware of, you know, what the truth is. I mean, you know, like, the, and, you know, like, people, you know, like being aware that, you know, there is a total disregard of law and order, um, that um, we are, you know, spending illegal money on um, weapons um, for the Contras. Mm -hmm. But um, that's, that, is that why you don't eat meat or chicken or? Well, I mean, it's, I know what it does to my body. The, uh, um, the most interesting thing um, that I've just been reading about lately is, because um, I am concerned about um, the amount of money we spend on nuclear weapons when there's so many people in the world that are starving to death, not only just starving to death, that they're not getting any nutrition, but starving to death because they're not getting any food and we're spending all this money. And then we've got this problem with nuclear waste. 
you know, what, what do you do with the nuclear waste? And um, a byproduct of this nuclear waste, they're um, taking for the irradiation of foods, foods that we eat. It's a form of food preservation um, that I, I don't think we need. Um, do you do uh, a lot of concerts to raise money? Uh, do you I'd like, like work to with, say something do, about do the like food like irradiation because it's uh, something that um, is happening right now that a lot of people don't know anything about. Is and this the red lights that are over foods, like in fast food? No, this is something that they're just building.